Hey y'all, welcome to Keeping It 100, where we have these open and honest conversations to make sure you have all the information you need to make better health decisions. I am your host, Dr. Krista Motley, and of course, we got a good show line up. Um, as always, you may think of questions during the show, just put them in the chat. My colleague and friend, Dr. Tyne Thomas, is here behind the scenes. She's going to make sure your questions get answered, so just throw them in the chat. Um, and as I've been saying for the last few weeks, we are seeing COVID cases on a rise. Uh, two nights ago, I was reading an article about these new variants in South Africa, B. A4 and BA5 or something like that. I don't know. It's a lot going on. I'm so tired of reading about COVID. So they'll be keeping an eye on that, um, see where it goes. They said it was more contagious than the original Omicron. So it comes from the Omicron family, their cousins, their sisters, they out in these streets, they multiplying and they just doing the most. So hopefully it doesn't hit the US or any other countries too hard and they can get it under control where it already is. I don't know. We just got to keep up with it. So you may not be hearing about this and that's okay. The news can't cover everything all the time, but we're going to make sure y'all have the information right here on keeping it 100. So I'm going to make sure y'all know what's going on uh, with COVID. Now, hospitalizations are starting to go up slightly. They have been down for a while, but they're slightly going up. So um, hopefully that, again, is not going to get too out of control. We're not going to see deaths skyrocket again. Um, and what we have been seeing historically is that people that end up in the hospital are people that do not have the vaccine. And that is why we do this show, because we need to make sure that you all have the information you need to make you feel comfortable with making a decision to get vaccinated. We know it's not an easy, we know it's not an easy decision. We know it should never be taken lightly, but it's our responsibility um, to make sure that you have the information you need to make the best decision for you. We do not want to see you up in the hospital struggling to breathe, halfway dying from a disease that has a vaccine. Again, getting to the point to decide to get the vaccine is hard. I was there. It took me a while to do it. I get it, but. At some point, we want people to be moving along um, toward the path of getting protection so that you're not one of those people counted in these numbers who were in the hospital not vaccinated. So, um, you know, it's just it's just a lot. It's just I, I'm just tired of talking about it again. If you're not vaccinated and I've been saying this, wear your mask when you're out and about, please please. Um, COVID is still moving around. It's pushing, it's changing. So please make sure you have on a good mask, a surgical mask or an N95, especially when you're inside and closed spaces around crowds, particularly when people around you don't have on a mask. Put your mask on because you don't need to get COVID. We know people who have been vaccinated that get COVID. We know people that have been vaccinated and boosted still get COVID, still get sick, but those people are not sick enough to have to go to the hospital. That's the point. We're trying to keep people out of the hospital, trying to keep people from dying. So um, if you're not vaccinated at all, you're really, really at risk of getting COVID and spreading it easily to others. Please wear your mask when you're out and about. Next week, I'm going to talk about the booster, the second booster that the CDC is now recommending. I've been getting questions about it. My mom texted me about it. So I've been reading some articles and by next week, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to give you all my recommendation on how to and the thought process that I took because the experts are even not on the same page. There are some that say people should be getting the second booster. There are some that say, nah, just wait. So I'm a Keep digging um, and I'm going to formulate my opinion on that, my professional opinion, and I'll tell you what I tell my mom and my grandmom to do. Um, so I told you all for the next few weeks, I am going to have a special guest here, uh, Dr. <laughs> Dr. George Mink Jr. I didn't call him doctor. Uh, maybe he will be Dr. George Mink Jr. in just a few years. You never know right. what path this brother is on. Dr. Mink, so, let's just speak it into existence. Good afternoon. Let's talk it into existence. Welcome to the show. Um, I feel like a doctor after all the stuff you told me this week. <laughs> I know. You went in a crash you, you course. Pulled out the the book. Book. You pulled out the old books and everything. So. <laughs> you went on a whole vaccine crash course. Yeah, well, I, did. The, I did. The, the coolest thing is, is, is that you understand it. <laughs> like, yeah. You really can spit it out and you can spit it out in a way that 
you understand it, which right. is like so dope for me to hear you talking to someone else about it. And I'm like, yo, he talking like he been in school for six years about yeah. this. This is pretty good no, that he no, can like God. pick up on these, <laughs> like he can pick right. up on this and then explain it to someone else in a way that's really clear. It's 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 impressive. So yeah. I'm thinking about higher education, pursuing another degree. Um, you you got what it takes for sure. Okay. All right. Well, you know, you, you never doubted you, yourself. You kicked it off, so I owe a award to you. When I when I get one, I'm gonna just thank you first. You know what I'm saying? But, it's um, all good. It's all good. But no, yeah, I had an interesting week, Doc. Like you said, um, I'm back out here. I'm really trying to get awareness. Uh, it's hard out in the field. Like it's it's different from the sidelines. Like when we was talking, that was the sideline stuff. You the coach with the headphones. But when I had to get in the game, it was like, okay, coach ain't say this, but we're coach at now. She huh? at work. <laughs> right. She at work and I'm in these streets. Right. But um Tell me what I mean, you been up to. Good night. And I went to a couple barbershops. So I've been in the Derby area, uh and pursuing the Yaden area, particularly this week. Um, we pretty much got the Chester area on lock. I just have to like double back and talk to some of them brothers that we're gonna visit. But um, I went to Darby. Um, nice barbershop has been there for a while. I'm not gonna name it because I didn't talk to him yet. But um, it wasn't a bad experience. There was a couple of brothers in there, not vaccinated, and um, they first of all they started treating me like I was the feds. So. <laughs> What? Yeah, because I mean, you know, you just can't go anywhere and people don't know you. And, you know, we got our own, we still got our own ways, no matter what age you are. And I understood it. I'm not Richie Cunningham. (laughs) I just look (laughs) like it. (laughs) But, uh, (laughs) you know, but I mean, I I talked to some brothers. They they got. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. They was looking at you like you was the fans. Like, what you go in there and say? I just said, um, how y'all doing? I'm George Mink. Um, you know, I introduced myself as working with, uh, you know, COVID awareness and um, COVID vaccinations. That and let the alarms off, probably. That so, COVID and I just, talk. yeah, but I talked to the manager. I thought he would understand, but he wasn't even vaccinated. So, oh, wow. but he just had his own beliefs from another country. So okay. I kind of understood some of it, like, all our reasons are not just because we don't want to. Some people have valid None reasons. Of them are. And that's fine. I got to respect that. So I'm not, that's why I'm, I wasn't there to change his mind. I was just there to talk about really about black health, mm-hmm. black men's health. Mm-hmm. So that's mm-hmm. pretty much my intro, like black men's health. And, you know, this is part of it. This is on the list, just like a colonoscopy. It's on, this, it's on the list now for me to get vaccinated. But I had to get to this point. So I tried to give them my story, but you know, they started talking and Swahili and all these different languages. And <laughs> That's why I knew I had to leave. So it was, <laughs> I left oh, my business card. I left my business card, but I mean, it felt good to go out and talk to some people. Uh, I actually talked to an older woman out there, and mm-hmm. she put me on the phone with her son because she wants him to be vaccinated. Okay. And um, he great. actually, he actually. Got on the phone with me. I, I gave him my spill, my doctor junior stuff. And um <laughs> like he didn't really respond in, but his mom called me late that late that later he, he asked for my business card. Wow. So it's just that's about what awareness. It's all about. That's what it's like, all about. We're not Wait, really huh? trying to change your mind, but we're just trying to get you to see things in a different way. That's Absolutely. All. Tell me a little bit about that conversation. So you hopped on the phone with him. You told him you was Dr. Junior. Yeah. What, what y'all talk about? Um, I just asked him, you know, like, is there any reason why that's that's holding you back from it? Or, you know, like we talked about, I'm going to start using the belief deal. But mm-hmm. I asked him, was it any, what, what was his main reason why for not having it? And he mm-hmm. just was like, I don't know, you know, it's too new or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. I said, well, it's not new now. Tell him. <laughs> I Tell mean, it, it, was, it, was, it was new, but it's not new now. So we know, like, nothing came off my eyeballs. Not, everything cool. You mm-hmm. can't even tell who vaccinated. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the little soreness went away, all that. It's, no, it's nothing going on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he said that, and then he mentioned something about uh, he having a problem with a job. Mm-hmm. And he don't feel as though the job should uh, hold that against you. I'm saying, well, they kind of do because they protecting their employees. Yeah. You got to understand we're moving into the next level of life. 
So this is the new life. That's why everybody had to get adjusted to work being on social media and all that. It's yeah. the same way the world moving in the, in the pharmaceutical world and you know different avenues where we're going now. You got to upgrade yourself. And if you don't know, I got some literature for you. It's, it, it's, it's official. Anybody can't sell me anything. I read it for myself. Yeah. And even about the uh, Tuskegee uh, deal, they brought that up. And then I, I read an article that said that their members, their family members are vaccinated. Yeah. They, they're telling people not to use, don't use our fathers for y'all example for not getting it. If you yeah. don't want to get it, you don't want to get it. Don't use our fathers because this is totally different. So yeah. I gave him some brotherhood. I gave him some brotherhood. That's good. That's dope. Man, he ain't give me no right. You know, you know how how we gotta get down. So he he got off and talked to his mama though. He said, you know, "Mama, mama." <laughs> he called his mama and said, "Who was that brother?" Is that he good? That shit. Yeah. So, That's but no, nah, I was. It's a good experience. I mean, I know we, it's an uphill battle, and I get it. Like, cause what what happened is when I start getting personal with him behind the scenes, that's when he let me in. Yeah, absolutely. Because I can relate, bro. Yes. I can relate. I got the same feelings. I mean, you know, we should be Larry. Everything they tried against us, it went against us. That's why we so behind now. So yeah. I get it. I get it. And I still feel like that. I'm not in Will Smith. I don't live next to Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? I'm still in down the way. Still in the so, hood. Yeah. Right. And yeah. loving folks and trying to be old school. Yeah. So. That's really cool. And, I, and I'm glad you brought up the fact that you could relate to him because mm -hmm. I think that that helps to build trust. Right. When you're talking to a person that doesn't look like you, that don't understand you, that can't relate to what you've been through, you ain't trying to hear what they got to say. Right. But when you're talking to someone, you feel like, oh, he, you know, he like me. Right. And, you know, it takes that conversation to another level, which is why he was like, mom, can I get his contact information? Now, he may not call you for a while, but it's yeah. something you said to him that really stuck with him that he wanted to make sure when he was ready to reach out, he right. had the information. And he won't call me when he get COVID. Oh, <laughs> then it's going to be too late. You know Let me get that shot now. <laughs> <laughs> when he get diagnosed, then he going to call. Oh, me. man. Hopefully. Yeah. Ho hopefully, hopefully it won't happen. Though. I'm going to try to get him before that. Yeah, so. for sure, for sure. Right. Now, I also wanted to bring up the fact that you brought up Tuskegee because Tuskegee is one thing that a lot of people had concerns about. They still have concerns about, you know, it 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 happened and it was not that long ago. It was about 50 years ago. So it's not like it happened 100, 200 years ago. They experimented on black men. It was the government and and it was egregious. It was horrendous right. what they yeah. did. But as in a lot of cases with black people that sparked something and it caused the way it caused a lot of changes in how things were done once it became public what was going on so a lot of changes have happened since tuskegee so that nothing like that will ever happen again right. so we don't have to worry about tuskegee i'm not saying to forget about it never forget about it always have it in the back of your mind but just realize that Nothing that there are things in place to make sure that nothing like that in the U.S. ever happens again. Remember mm. it, but realize that so many changes have been made that they'll never be able to experiment on people without telling them what the risks are, what right. the benefits are, and doing all the lying that they did to those men. That couldn't happen again. Right. Right. It's not even possible. And I see people giving blood to go get a platter. So it's like, come on, man. like I don't see it all. I don't see it all. So stop playing with me. All we got to do is start being mental and start educating ourselves instead of going with our personal theories. That's yeah. been our problem for years. Yeah. So we got to just just start reading. We start reading reading information instead of thinking we know everything. Let's read it for ourselves. We're not going to go with what the family's saying or what the whole circle is saying. I'm going to read it individually for my own personal feelings about it. But, you know, uh, you know, they say that black people don't like to read. So if they're not going to read it, how else are they going to get the information? Like, How else can we get it to them? Well, we I know like that's, that's not true. We read what we want. So uh -huh. that's we not true. We want. No, we, we read, read what, what we want. want. Everybody I know can read. No, that's not it. <laughs> we read what we want and what we think is important and we prioritize things. There you go. But what there I'm saying go. is this is priority. This is something we have to, we had that ministry. We, this thing got forced in our lifestyle. It got forced in. If you wanted to live with it or not, 
it, it had to come in your house like a no good somebody living in your house. <laughs> so that's that's what's, what happened with COVID. They came in all our households. Yeah. So we have no choice but to learn how to live with them. <laughs> it's like just being in a situation where you just stuck living with somebody. Yeah. yeah. So we got to make it easy. So I'm going to get vaccinated just in case. Um, learn about the disease so I won't have to go about pe people's personal theories and stuff that I might not know about it and learn about the whole situation with the vaccine. What's best for me? Because all of them kind of different depending on your body situation or whatever. But, you know, it's like I'm learning this stuff. So next week, cap and gown. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to your graduation. So I see a question from Gio. He is asking, are we 100 percent sure the experiment can't happen? So humans are humans. What I do know that is there are there are a number of laws and controls, policies and boards in place at any organization that does studies. If they do a survey, if they do something where they're giving you a medication, if they're just asking you questions and it's a study at a university hospital with the government, it has to be done in a certain way. It has to get approved by what's called an institutional review board. They can't do research without these things in place. So there's no, so it, so as long as it's done at those types of institutions, uh, college or university, um, hospital health system, if it's um, done with the government, being funded by the government. A lot of research is paid for by the government. If those dollars are being used for um, research purposes, it has to go through certain protocols. And there are teams of people that make decisions. And these teams of people have all types of people on them. It's not just white people. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's diverse groups of people, depending on where you are. There's more diversity in some places than others, but there's more than one person that's making these decisions and they're making sure that they're protecting people. The purpose of these boards and these policies rules are to protect the subjects, to protect the people because of what happened in Tuskegee. Right. So I'm sure that those things are in place. Now, if you are part of a research from Junebug on the corner, he doing some research, do these Viagra pills work? That ain't reviewed by no board. I can't mm -hmm. say that it's been vetted, reviewed, you know, you. so you got to think about who's doing the research. You got to know who's doing the research. And as long as it's funded by those types of institutions, colleges, universities, health systems, hospitals, or the government, you can rest assured that there's policies and protocols in place to protect people protect their rights protect their privacy make sure they know everything that's going on those right. type of institutions are solid anybody else doing research private organizations you i don't know i can't say that they have policies in place to protect human subjects so always know who is doing the research and that'll tell you if you are protected or not all right, I see another question from Gio. Uh, Mr. Speed, I wish they came out that gives people cause. True. Uh, people skeptical about cutting corners. Um, yes, yes, I agree. I completely okay. agree. I was the yeah. same way. Uh, George, you want to say something about that? I mean, we should be. I mean, anything. Okay. Like, like we wouldn't let anybody in our circle. Uh, we are leery type of people. So anything new, we definitely stand off. It's new friends, new people. Anything that's not within your circle or your beliefs, of course, you want to feel skeptical. But again, we want to go into what we think and what is actually the truth. So everything that can be said about the vaccination is an answer for it. And writing is what I'm saying. I mean, everything that we read, that's why you got to be skeptical of what you read and where you read it from. But it's valid information that you can get that will equal all your answers without you coming up with your hood theories or our personal black man curses stuff. Whatever the case may come up, even with sisters, they're the same way. So we just got to pick up the books and just really get into our studies. Like we we are intelligent people. Absolutely. We take on what we feel like it. So is what I'm saying. I've seen brothers go buy stuff 
for their personal reasons at the gas station. Don't know what's in that pill yep. or nothing with a rhino face on it. So <laughs> what I'm saying is like, come on. Like just yeah, all y'all got to do, you don't read the, in the ingredients in that stuff. Like let's read the ingredients in cigarettes. Let's start reading the ingredients in everything that can make you feel a certain type of way or it's not good for you. So that's, I mean, I'm a, that's part of it, doc. You could take over a little bit. Tell them why you mad, George. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> I just, I just want brothers to just catch on. That's all. Like, I, I mean, I we, 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 catch we, up. We, yeah, we just need to catch up. That's all. We're talking about that. So, yep. So I want to address uh, Gio's question specifically because it is a concern. It's a concern that a lot of us had. You know, we uh, smart people. We critically think. We use experiences from the past that uh, that impact how we move today. It's a real thing. So what I want to say is that the vaccines in the news, they they promoted it as a new vaccine. They called it the warp speed vaccine from, or um, I think that the name of the project was Operation Warp Speed. That was a turn off for me um, because it's because it appeared that it was a quickly done thing, that they cut corners, that they didn't go through all the right processes that they typically do. But in reality, they did not cut corners. And it wasn't a completely new vaccine. They had been studying this vaccine for decades, for like 40 years. They had discovered it and they tried to use it for other stuff, but it just didn't work and it didn't make sense to use it. And so it was just one of those things that was around. And when COVID came up, they tried it for COVID and bam, it worked. Now we got something that worked that, that we can put in play. And so that's that's how it appeared that it happened so fast that it was brand new. It was not brand new. Now I tell you, when you go in the hospital, if you get COVID and they start you on one of those antiviral drugs like Paxlovid, that's a new drug. That was just discovered last December or mm -hmm. last November. So that's new. And you won't even, you probably won't even know that you got it. So what we're saying is the vaccines, the, the technology that was used to make the Moderna vaccine and the Pfizer vaccine has been studied for decades. They've studied it in people. They tried it for um, rabies. They tried it for flu. They tried it for Zika, but it didn't make sense to use it for those conditions. When COVID came, they pulled it out to see if it worked. It worked. They was good. They did the studies like they always do. They just didn't do 10, 20. Uh, well, they usually do studies for about, um, they take 10 years of data um, to see, but we didn't have 10 years of data to do anything. We had people dying, thousands of people were dying a day. So they didn't have all the data that they would usually use, take a look, see what happens. We didn't have time for that. We needed people to stop dying. Um, and so they were able to show that the vaccines work. They were able to show that the vaccines were safe. It's been a year and a half. Everything is still good. The, the Vaccines are still working great, which is wonderful. Um, and as time goes, we'll, you know, continue to watch it and see. Um, the hard part about COVID is that we're living in it and we're studying it all at the same right. time. Yeah. So that makes it really hard. Like yeah. You don't have a bunch of data to look back on. Yeah, you got to live, collect the data, pivot. Yeah. And so that's why you see you. You'll see that, okay, it's cool to wear a mask. Okay, mm -hmm. now take the mask off. Now you got to put the mask on because they don't know what's going to happen until right. it happens because COVID is new. Right. So it's, 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 it's hard. Right. So um, I hope that helps to answer the, the, the question about the newness of the vaccine. It's new for COVID, but it's not a thing that, that they just discovered. If you're in the hospital with COVID and they start giving you meds, some of those meds might be new. You won't even know what you're getting right. because you probably you might not be conscious. And so your best bet is to take the vaccine. We have a lot. Billions of people have gotten this vaccine. If there was going to be big problems, it would have come up by now. Right. You'll keep yourself out of the hospital so you don't have to worry about people doing stuff to you, treating you bad in the hospital. Stay out of the hospital. Protect yourself. Get the vaccine. Call it a day and you're done. Right. Right. It might not be done because we don't know how many boosters we're going to need. But again, that's the thing. You don't know because we're living through it and we're studying it. So you just don't know what's going to be needed. But 
the best thing that you can do, what we know right now, is getting vaccinated. If you look at people that are hospitalized because of COVID, these are people that have not been vaccinated. There's no reason to be in a hospital with a disease that has a vaccine. I know it's complicated. We're just going to keep trying to put the information well, we out. Gonna we're going to keep pumping keep pumping our facts. I mean, that's good geo involved though. That's, that's, that's important. Like you engaged, you're not just letting anybody slide nothing on you. Yeah. Like, we don't move like that. Challenge don't let everything. nobody just come over like, yo, boy, take a sip of that. Nah, what's that? Like we're no. not, we can't, we're not supposed to be that open for it. So no. I agree with geo yep, to do that too. level. Like, I do but, too. It's also, you know, as you older and as you, you know, age and you get older, you start understanding that it is about reading first. So it's not just going to buy your own personal feeling. You still allowed to tuck your feelings, but you're still supposed to just read on it just to make sure you know you're right. Yes. So yes. that's important. Absolutely. That's true what I'm saying to myself. Uh, yep, exactly. Yeah. And I want to pick up too on what Gio said is that. Facts are constant. Interpretation of those facts is relative. And that's that's completely true. That's completely true. And so what we're saying is look for the facts and understand the information. I mean, you, you, you can challenge it if you don't believe who's spitting the facts, but then is it a fact? You know, if you have a challenge, so if, if it's coming from the government and you don't really believe what the government says because you think that they lie, to us, then I don't know if you would consider what they have to say a fact. Right. So you got to, you know, you you have to find the best source of information that you can and make decisions based on that. But what we don't want to happen is to see our people continue to die from COVID at these mm -hmm. rates higher than other people when um, it's not necessary, when it can be prevented. And so... Mm -hmm. That's 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 the challenge that we have before us, and we here for it. We here right. for it. George definitely here for it because he out in them streets. I'm in the. Oh office. yeah, I'm not, I mean, I'm getting the real talk, <laughs> live talk right now. Like, no, and it's a different world that we live in. So, I mean, but it's worth taking the chances, and it's worth just getting the word out there. Um, I like engaged brothers. I want you to ask questions. That's important. Yeah. We, we normally don't ask questions, so we usually go by what we think we know. I want you to ask questions. That's important. We have Absolutely. to ask questions. Absolutely. If we don't know about something, we gotta ask questions. If we leery, if we don't, if we don't, if we feel uncomfortable, let's ask questions to yep. the right to the right sources, though. Yes. So I mean, you talk. Yes. We're talking to our own people now. We don't gotta listen to a whole nother lingo, whatever. Even though it's really one lingo, right and wrong. So it's not really about the race stuff, but we gotta talk about our community because we're still in our community. We just got to break some of the cycle of just thinking we know everything. Uh, just, 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 wanna, just read on it. That's all. I want to add one other thing. Um, and I'm glad you said that, you know, it's just going to the information, reading. And just like you said, you got to read from the right place because people, we talked about this, people can put anything on the internet. You cannot believe everything you read on the internet. And you, you, you have to be careful of what you're putting in your mind because you want to make sure that it's coming from a good place or else people are going to have you all confused, all scared. Next thing you know, you done. Yeah. All, all for what? All for what? So I want to um, address something that um, Gio mentioned on terms of the long-term side effects. Now that's true. We don't have the long-term side effect data, but I think Dr. Thomas put a question in is like, how long are you willing to wait? Because, what we do know about vaccines in the history of vaccines is that um, if there was going to be an adverse reaction to a vaccine, it usually happens within two months. Mm -hmm. So if there was something that was going to go down, if the, if the vaccine was going to cause a problem, it would be within two months of the person getting it. And we saw that. We saw that with um, the women who were developing um, the blood clots from J&J vaccine, although that was extremely rare, it happened. And right. we saw that in the young boys, I think the ages is uh, 12 to 12 to 16 year old, um, who were having heart problems after the mRNA vaccines. And again, that was extremely rare. And we saw that. And so when they saw that, they studied it and that helped them to see, okay, if you have these certain risk factors for blood clots, then you should consider getting a different vaccine. And then it helped them to see for the 
young boys, instead of them getting the vaccine three weeks apart, they spaced it out. And I think they are now recommended to get it eight weeks apart. So right. you, so again, we're living through it and we're learning it. But for vaccines, in the history of vaccines, when there's a bad thing that happened, it usually happens within two months and they can catch it and they could do something about it. It has been a year and a half that these vaccines have been out. That's way longer than two months. Billions of people have been vaccinated mm-hmm. and um, it's very, very unlikely that anything is going to come up 10, 20 years down the line because it just doesn't happen. If, if a thing was going to happen, it would happen in two months, most likely. So uh, that's where we are with that. But I got to go to class. This has been fun. George, thanks for being uh, the street team. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's for it's for the right reasons. And I like the more questions, the better. Um, that way we'll understand it for our for our own reasons. Yeah. Before it goes into our household. And I you just don't want nothing to happen. And then you find out about COVID from having it and it's too late. So Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so I just want to remind you all, if you all think of questions when we're not on, um, y'all can always call or text me at two six seven. 322-0470. Um, I'll be glad to answer your questions so we're not on. And please tell your family to watch next week. I'm going to be talking about my recommendation on what y'all should do if you already got vaccinated and you got the booster and you like, do I really need the second booster? Because I was looking at it sideways too. So I'm going to let y'all know how I feel. Um, I just want to read one more article that I saw. So I'll let y'all know next week. George. Yes. 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 Are you going back out today? I'm gonna try. I gotta get my vest on. (laughs) (laughs) And my tank get ready to pull up. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for everything you're doing out there. And um, we'll see y'all next week. Right. All right, everybody. All right. See you, Doc. All right.